Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright. I'm April Lauren, and I'm on a journey to lose a lot of weight. In today's Weigh In Wednesday, I am doing a full day of eating, and I am so excited to share it with you, starting with what I eat for breakfast on my weight loss journey. Let's do it. There is always a jump around menu down below, so feel free to hop down there and pick and choose what you watch with us today, unless you're watching during the premiere. And the cool thing about the premiere videos is that you get to watch the whole thing without any ads and you get to live chat on the little chat window and I'm always there for that. And sometimes my husband is and sometimes Aaron from FitLab's there too. But if that's not your jam, that's okay. But that is a good reason to have the notifications on if you're ever wondering why you would ever press the notifications that's probably why <laughs> um this breakfast was so good i don't know why i was really craving an omelet most of the time i do not eat breakfast so most of the time and during the summer i should say in the winter and the fall like the later fall i will start eating oatmeal as it starts getting cooler i don't know something about the coolness it's like summer summertime and watermelon for me is a thing and then fall and winter it's oatmeal so anyway this is my breakfast and I definitely need to mind my face <laughs> I think it's very obvious that like I've been struggling <laughs> I've definitely been struggling and I am gonna focus on this video talking about just some of the habits I have that I think are keeping me going and our meal prep that we started well, we started just buying the prepped meals and then we started meal prepping together. And that has been a huge staple because there's not a lot of decision making. So I've already made the decision and that's keeping me from getting in my own way when I'm feeling kind of rotten and down. So it's been a huge help. And also the option to, th to cook my breakfast is always there. <laughs> And for whatever reason, I did cook a few meals today, even though we have meal prep. So I um, I cooked a dinner and I was just really craving a quesadilla. And so I made one and then I had made this omelet. And I don't know if the omelet is what spurred my quesadilla want, but it did and it happened. Water is also something that's so important to me and just being in a good state of mind. I don't know what it is about water that just helps me stay a little bit fresher. So if you haven't been getting your H2O, I highly recommend it. And I use this Electra light powder, not all day. I drink from a gallon water bottle for the most part, which you can see in this clip as well, or in a, in a coming clip. I, um, I use this Electra light powder because it helps me with my leg cramps. I overuse my calves, just the way I'm built. And um, with that, I get a lot of Charlie horses in my calves. So this really helps with that. And also like rolling them out with a, with a ball, so. That is what I do. <laughs> and I think it's very important and it kind of goes without saying that if you do drink something like this electrolyte powder, VPN just released some electrolyte powder. It doesn't have any calories. This stuff that I have does have some calories and it also has a couple carbs. So you wanna make sure you're tracking. If you're tracking carbs, which I don't track carbs, I just track calories right now. Um, and I track these calories for this beverage that I am having. I already, shared that September was a little rough for me with tracking, with doing a lot of the things that I did, but I still did them. It's not that I didn't track at all ever. And it's not that I didn't walk at all ever. I just, I wasn't hitting my goals. Even like with my mile for time, it really was just representative of my entire month, to be honest. One of the things, one of the best things that I've done, I think for the way that I've been feeling is overemphasizing cleaning and by overemphasizes I just mean I created a home channel and the home channel is not necessarily about cleaning although I will do lots of clean with me's but doing this has helped me having a clean space a clean home has helped me just stick to my routines better than I would have if I was living in chaos having a structured environment is so important for me when I'm in this state of mind I 
these cooler days are so rare. This was a day where it was in the low 70s, high 60s when I decided to walk them in the morning and that was awesome. I don't understand, like it looks like fall, like the trees and stuff, but it doesn't feel like fall, it feels like summer. But look at this beautiful coloring and like the red berries that are on this tree, it's just so beautiful. And there's a few other, like there was a magnolia tree that I thought was really beautiful on this walk that I took footage of. and. I decided just to film the pups. I haven't really taken them out during the day and walked them a ton. I usually take them in the evening. Like, I, I mean, I take them if it's cool enough. If it's cool enough, I go. I tried earlier in the summer before it got too, too hot with their vest and stuff, but then it just kept getting hotter and hotter and even the vest and things were not enough. But now that it's starting to cool back off, we are enjoying our walks during the daylight hours. I no longer have vampire babies. They are... They are, you know, able to roam about during the day without getting overheated, which is really, really nice. They love going for walks and they're really loving that I am breaking their walks up throughout the day. So one of them gets a long walk typically right now, if it's cool enough, um, they get a long walk with me and then they both get a few short walks. And by short walks, we usually go about a mile and it usually takes us about 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on how much they want to stop and smell about, you know? All depends on the smells. The smells dictate our walks in life and so do the poops. That's our, that's our life. Come on. I played with my hair on this day and that's what's up with the like space buns. I really liked it, it grew, I, so I hated it and I liked it and then I loved it and then I was iffy about it and I don't know, I think it's fun. It's something different and I like it. These meal prep meals are awesome. My husband and I did such a good job the other day. They are all so good and they definitely keep us very full and satiated. Well, I guess me more so than my husband. He's definitely had cravings this week. So I'm not really sure what's up with that because that's not usually his something that happens. But anyway, it's been really good. I have enjoyed the meal prep meals that we made and I'm just glad. I'm glad that we're doing it. I definitely recommend if you're like me and you struggle to track, doing it all at one time is a better way to go. For me, meal prepping like this allows me to track. And then if I do other things, it's easier to track because I'm already tracking everything. So I, I just, I find it very encouraging and motivating. It makes the process easier and better for me. I mean, it's all about finding what works for us individually. That's what, that's what the key is, is what works for you on your journey. What do you need in order to be successful? And that's what you should do. <laughs> Also, I thought it was important to note, because I don't think I've shared this, I always just add the calories of the orange drink in with whatever I'm eating. If it's literally the only thing I'm having, then I'll pencil it in on its own, but for the most part, I just add it too. So that's why it's not gonna have its own spot. I'm gonna show y'all the notepad later and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, I am upstairs. Yuna and I are about to record. Just hair. <laughs> can't. I thought it was so cute and it was really cute. Maybe this is like one of those things like you have to be the other person. I don't know. Maybe it's a fill. Either way, it's happening. It's there. So, all right, let's, let's podcast. So my birthday, um, yeah. I was, okay. before we started recording, I started to tell her and I was like, whoa, whoa wait, I should save this. <laughs> it was funny. So on Thursday, I went and I got my nails done. Did I even show these to you? Pretty. I don't know if I did. I love did I? them. I love them too. You sent me a picture, but that was it. Okay, I didn't remember if I sent you a picture or if I just sent it to my sisters. Um. Yes, so anyway, I was coming home. I feel like I already told you the story. 
maybe I deserve. I don't think I talked to you, so I don't think I told you. But anyway, you send me the picture of the of the nails, and we already said, you know, saving it from the podcast. <laughs> The podcast is definitely coming back with a vengeance. Yuna and I will be doing a daily podcast for the, from, I should say, the 15th of October to the 15th of November. This is part of my little project that I'm working on to help get us on track for the holidays or anyone who wants to participate. Nobody has to, but I'm going to participate. So <laughs> I'm going to be doing it and I'm going to, Yuna and I are going to be doing mini podcasts. So we're talking like... 10 to 20 minutes max podcast episodes but daily so you can save them all up it's essentially going to be about the same amount of time or even less amount of time as than usually we have done in the past but it will be specific around a book that we have selected and also the topics that we will be working on or things that we'll be working on throughout the challenge so you are invited We are off to a rocky start. I left the leash with the poop bags that I typically use at home. Luckily, I have a different leash. And thankfully, I had different poop bags because she had to go as soon as we got here. She's like, now, now please let me out of the car or I'm just gonna go in the car. Cause Chippy don't give a F. She's like a honey badger, huh baby girl? But Chippy does not care. If she has got to go potty, then Chippy has got to go potty, huh, baby? I am thinking there's not going to be much filming because we need to walk fast. I want to get three miles in with Miss Chipperbones and the sun. I don't know if you can tell behind me. Oh, my hair's messed up. <laughs> um, the sun is setting rapidly. It's that time of year where the sun gets adjust to the new season. So it's like sometimes it's a little bit out later than other times or so it seems. And right now it seems like it's going down fast. So, anyway, the trailhead should be coming up soon, I hope. She hopes. Is Chibi ready? Is Miss Chibi ready? Oh, you're being such a good girl, Chippy. Oh, you're my good girl, Chippy. Love you, Miss Chippy Chippy Girl. Chippy. Come here. Oh, you got a sense? You got smells? Miss Chippy got smells? <sighs> Here's some pretty fall colors. Come on, Chips. Cross or not to cross. To be safe, let's ooh, 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 ooh. We decided to just send it. <laughs> we went over the little stream. It's not like, it hasn't rained in a few days. I'm thinking this must be like a, not a flash flood area, but obviously it floods a little. You can kind of see it. This is a good 
good trail. It's a lot better than the bike trails. So especially for taking the pups. So this will be a regular, a regular spot for us, I would say. And I saw a glimpse of the lake. It's beautiful. So I don't know if we'll ever actually come to it or if it'll just be through the woods that we're able to see it. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, here's the lake. I guess the trail stops. There's a trash can, that's always nice. Throw away some poop bags. A little anticlimactic. That's okay. Huh, baby girl? You just blend right in. I wonder if you can like kayak. Well, we're really excited to have made it to the lake. Aren't we Miss Chips? Aren't we Miss Chips? Yeah, she's just like, I'm just happy to be here. Whatever, I don't really care. and then walk past where we parked for a quarter of a mile and that will give us, wait, is that right? Half a mile. And then back and that will give us our three miles. So we're gonna book it, book it back. <laughs> you can go fast, baby girl. Let's go, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Chibi sit. Okay. Good girl. Go ahead. Get back. Get back. Thank you. 
Ah ah, c'est cos. Okay, so I'm about to have some popcorn and some olipop, and I know I'm looking tired because it is late. But I'm tired. <laughs> so tired. I didn't cook this right. My big baby. Jamomi's big baby. Yes, Jamomi's big baby. Yes. Oh. Yes. Did he ask me to? Such a girl. Oh, he's just so sweet. He's just so sweet. Before I go to bed, I just wanted to share how easy it is to track your food using a composition notepad and nutrition labels and or information that you find via Google and you don't have to have an app. So most foods have nutrition labels on the back. If they don't have a nutrition label, then you can Google it and you can get the same information that they plug into apps and you don't have to release all of your information to an app unless you wanna use an app and then use an app. There's no judgment coming from me. But this is just how I do it. It's not triggering for me. I do wanna start tracking protein, but for now, this is what I'm tracking. I've got my breakfast. I use my calculator on my phone. I look it up online if it's not clearly labeled and then I just put the total amount and then when we meal prep, so for all of our meal prep meals, we already have all of that figured out. So I literally just write it down. Hello, beautiful people. This week I weighed in at 285.6 pounds, which is a loss of 1.5 pounds. So I'm very excited about my weight loss this week. I feel more energized and like I said, that may just be in my head, like a placebo effect of sorts. I Maybe I'm sleeping better at night. I don't know. I know that I'm going a little intense with the workouts, so that also is probably helping. Feel, I feel pretty good. I still have that underwhelming feeling is a good way to describe it. It's still there and I'm working with it. It happens. Like I'm just focusing on doing the things that I agreed to with myself being patient and kind when I come up short and continuing to press forward by continuing to try and do the things that I know I need to be doing in order to be successful. So I was able to get a hold of myself and track pretty much everything this week. So I think it's kind of like a duh moment. Like it's something that I don't necessarily need to say, but for me, tracking is just so important. I hope you've enjoyed this full day of eating with me and enjoyed seeing what increasing my calories just a little bit looks like. And I have not got in with a dietitian yet, so we will see how that goes. And you know, we might be scaling it back when I talk to the dietitian, or we might be going forward with the caloric range that was recommended. I sort of feel like I sort of feel like I want before I like buy fully into my caloric recommendations that I see some progress. And I, I do buy into the BMR. Like I, he said that it was pretty accurate and I believe that. And so I'm like, okay, well if I just eat at least the BMR range, like what my body burns at rest, then I should be good. And I like, I'm just going forward with that logic and we'll see see how it goes now the other stuff that he factored in he asked me like how much i worked out and things like that and i just told him like i walk 
the average number of steps that I do and that I do yoga and that I work out. And then he came up with the whole other number on his own. And so that's why I was like, I just don't know if I need to eat that many calories. <laughs> and so, cause I, I do know this. I know for instance, he was using a computer program and if I look at my watch, my watch always tells me I burn like 5 million calories in yoga, but I don't burn five, many, 5 million calories in yoga. And he didn't tell me the equation he used to come up with the number of calories. So anyway, this stuff is neither here nor there. I am so grateful for you all. I'm so grateful for your love and encouragement for your shared stories. I know I say this a lot, but it's very important to me and it's, there's something about a shared experience, whether it's a positive shared experience or even a negative one that feels comforting. And it's a pretty powerful and amazing thing to have a huge community where there's so many of us that pretty much if something happens to one of us, there's at least some other person in this community that has experienced the same thing. And I think that that's just really awesome that you guys share your stories and you share your stories with me and with each other and it's so motivating and encouraging and thank you for uplifting me on a weekly basis. I hope that you enjoyed my weigh in. So stay tuned for my month update video for September and I'll go over all of the things i i just am not ready to really think about september and i feel like i've already talked about the negative sides of september so much i'm like i don't want to talk about it anymore and i know i've talked about different parts in this video but it's different than evaluating the month and i'm just like how can i not feel drained and i'm like maybe i just won't do one for september i have to do something because i will be bothered if i skip and I don't, but I'm just gonna try and keep it light and brief. I think that's gonna be the key. Comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are on my monthly update for September. Oh, September. <laughs> well, I love you so much. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you soon. If you haven't, go check out my cleaning channel and I will see you next time. Oh, and my little sister has a cleaning channel too. So don't forget to check out her cleaning channel if you haven't. Love you so much. Bye.